Three hundred number three and a quarter, three and a half. Three seventy-five, three seventy-five, three seventy-five, four hundred. Four hundred number four hundred, four and a quarter. Four hundred number four and a quarter. Sold four hundred dollars in the back. Thank you, man, for coming today. We appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, I'm Joe Bogner of Bogner's Auction Sales. If you ever come to my auction, you'll hear that going on for about thirteen hours straight. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we just came off a sale Thursday, and I was sailing uh, that way about uh, for thirteen and a half hours. Or so. and that was our day. We have four auctions. But anyway, uh, we do uh, personal property and antiques and collectibles, and it's always a pleasure to be here in East Brunswick. I started in East Brunswick 20 years ago. I used to run at the Elks Club in East Brunswick. And then we moved to Somerset for many years and just moved to Edison at the Raritan Center for the last year and a half now because we outgrew our place over there in Somerset. So it's always a pleasure to be here. We're going to learn a lot, hopefully, about what you have and what the, uh, is hidden in your house or what you might think is worth money. And uh, I'm going to give you a few tips. We'll take some questions and answers, and then we'll proceed to actually appraising your items. Um, bottom line is, uh, uh, what's a true antique? We'll always ask this question. Anybody know what a true antique is? How old does it have to be? 100 years. It has to be 100 years. Is it worth money just because it's 100 years old? No, 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 no. That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. Just because it has age or it's old, does not make it worth money. That's really the bottom line. And what we've seen a trend today, I mean, we've seen it, and I'm sure you, if you guys watch the road show and you watch TV, this and that, I love the new road show where they have uh, what it was 20 years ago and what is it today. And almost 80% of what you see out there has come down in price. And that is true. It's a, it's, a, it's a changing market. We are a market based upon emotion, and people are always buying back memories. And, 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 and a lot of people who are buying and spending money are in their 20s and 30s and their 40s and they remember things from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So we see a big push in collectibles from those time periods. I sell a lot, a lot of stuff from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now with my auction house, my auction house, we deal with estate liquidation, personal property, changes of life. That's how I always like to describe it. Whether you're moving from the big house and you're moving into a, to a gated community that's a lot smaller because all the kids have moved out, that's one change where we might be selling off some of the things for your house. Someone passes away. Uh, divorce, all types of different things. And that's what I like to see. Changes of life is how we basically get involved in your life uh, when selling stuff. We sell single items, this, that, and everything else, but we do a lot of estate liquidation, and we deal with a lot of hoarders these days. And hoarders, uh, I'll be honest with you, the hoarding market is great for us, and we love it. We love those hoarders out there. So, you know, and we just had a, a, a hoarder just this past auction, and uh, he was in a two-bedroom apartment over in Twin Rivers, literally, uh, in that two bedroom apartment, we took, he was gonna, he was very depressed, he wanted to throw everything up, but we did it, and we took it in an auction off when we got over $40,000 for his art glass collection in the past sale. So, but we do a lot of QVC stuff, it, and most of his stuff was 80s, 90s, and today are QVC, a lot of Bennett, a lot of um, Lennox, Royal Dolphin, Yards Rose, art glass, <laughs> things of that nature. So, I mean, what I see trending in today's market, what I've seen over the course of the last year, antiques are a little bit down, if not in some cases a lot down. But still, in the antique world, the top 10% of collections are still have value. You know, because if you look at anything you're collecting, whether it's period furniture or if it's Americana or Victorian glass or what have you, there's tons of certain things out there of the same type of thing. Those are definitely down. But in every type of collectability, there's something that's very rare, very special. And those particular things are still holding ground in today's marketplace, and especially if we have an entire collection that I've seen of, you know, we might take five items from somebody and we offer it at an auction and it brings whatever. However, if we have a collection and there's 200 of the same type of item or 300 of the same type of item, it always has to do a little bit better. And the top 10% of those collections are still retaining its value or still holding ground in today's marketplace. But the reality is, it's a changing marketplace. You know, How do you research this, these items? You know, I always, always, people always ask that. You know, how do you know so much or how do you find out about this? Or I tried to research this and I couldn't find it. You know, coming to an event like this is definitely something that you would look at. Going online, how do you search online? You know, I do a lot of uh, appraisal work where um, we write appraisals and uh, you know we sign off on what we uh, what we value something. You know, you do eBay searches. If you look at eBay, you'll see thousands of items on eBay. Well, what's the real price? What I always say is you really got to do a 90-day search. Look at what's completed and what it actually sold for, and take the average of what it's been selling for consistently within that 90-day search. And that might not even give you the answer, but it'll give you a close thought process of what maybe your item is uh, valued at. Because the reality is anyone can put something on eBay, put whatever price, starting price they want, they can sit there, no one bids on it, it's still a record on there, but you gotta really look at what's green, what's been completed, and what's it sold for. Because you can take the same item, whereas it's Dunkin' Donuts Company, put it in an auction, 
The reality is every auction takes its own life. In this particular cup, I bring $50 in one sale, $20 in another sale, $100 in another sale, 30, 40, 30, 40, 30, 40. If you take the average, that's probably gonna sell between 30 and 40. But one time, two people got in a bidding war and uh, bid it up to this particular spot and it brought a lot more. 